Would you give this bear a hug? A new species of water bear has been discovered in, of all places, a Japanese car park. Writing in the journal PLOS-1, scientists designated the new species of tardigrade as Macrobiotis shonaicus. After the initial fighting in Japan, researchers were unable to identify which type of tardigrade it was. Reportedly, 20 new species are found annually. They bear resemblance to some other species of tardigrade, but the new species is noted for its unique eggs. These have lengthy tentacles and a solid exterior. Researchers also noted the creature's mouth, which has three circular layers of teeth. The research was carried out by scientists in Japan and Poland. Nature's weird. Don't have a cow, mankind. New data from a U.S. government study says that gassy and burping cows are warming the planet much more than previously thought. Here's why. Research published in the journal Carbon Balance and Management says that previous data on methane emissions from livestock were off by 11 percent. Previous research failed to account for developments in agricultural land and animal use. After a cow eats, the food is digested by microbes in its gut and methane is produced as a result. Methane gas absorbs much more sunlight than carbon dioxide and, as a result, is a significant contributor to rising global temperatures. And just how many cattle are there in the world? 1.5 billion. Oh, crap. Here's how horses got their hooves. A new study can now finally explain how and why horses evolved from having toes to hooves. Equines, such as horses and zebras, are unique for being the only living animals with only one toe on each foot. But this wasn't always the case. The earliest horses were small and lived in forests, with four digits on their front legs and three on the back. The side toes were essential and helped carry their body weight. As their habitat transitioned from forest to grassland, horses' bodies grew larger and their side toes started to shrink. To compensate for the extra load, the middle toe bone became thicker and more robust. Transitioning to a single toe may have also made it easier for the animals to run farther and faster. The study examined fossilized bones of ancient horses and used computer simulation to determine how the bone structures bore the animal's weight. Scientists discover ancient ticks that fed on dinosaurs. Scientists have discovered a new species of tick called Deinocroton draculae in ancient fossils. The name means Dracula's terrible tick. The ticks were found inside 99 million year old lumps of amber from Myanmar. Two of the ticks were found with a dinosaur feather, one was wrapped around it. Researchers say the finding is the first direct evidence that ticks fed on feathered dinosaurs. Scientists suspect the feather belonged to an unknown type of dinosaur or an ancient bird species called Enantiornithine. This one gorged so much on dino blood, she bloated to eight times her size and stayed that way for 99 million years. Now that's an epic cheat day.